I'm going to take off this back layer which represented the exterior siding and see if I can't find some bullet fragments and then I'm going to make up a new sample with a different condition might help if it was in reverse maybe I should set up my tripod This is the back, the inside of the back layer. I'm just really surprised I haven't found any bullet fragments at all. This is weird. So let's take off the uh, plywood layer and see what that looks like. Okay, this is the sheeting layer, the layer before the siding, exterior siding, and again, no bullet fragments. <sighs> That's the back of your drywall, the inside layer. So I think what I want to do now is put some studs in here and try to take it to the range and try to shoot through the studs. So I'm going to put a layer of drywall on here. I only have a small piece left for now, but and then I'll run screws into those studs to hold them up there. Okay, there we go. Now I know studs are not this close together in, in the wall, but the idea here is to give me more targets to shoot at, because I'm gonna try this with different calibers, the bullets. So the trick is gonna be just to be able to hit them uh, with my port aiming. <laughs> the other thing I've done is just draw some reference lines so that uh, hopefully this will be easier to hit. It's gonna be hard enough to hit for me. It's only, these studs are only an inch and a half wide, so at about 30 feet. I don't know, I'll be lucky to hit one <laughs> with the pistol anyway. We should be able to zing, zing a few of these through with the, the AK and the 22, but the pistol's gonna be a little more of a challenge. 